Shout out to my boy that Spirit Springer, not Jerry Springer. Spirit Springer, man, yo, man, big souls, nigga, young Drake, though, nigga, it's up here, G Hood Frank, nigga. Wow. Gang, gang. Spirit Springer, we take the game. Appreciate you, boy. Spirit Springer, bitch. Gang shit. Gang shit, y'all know the fuck going on for my ass, spirit. Give a fuck about how everybody else is. Don't try to hop on another wave because you think that's going to appeal to. Man, be yourself, bro. That You're going to catch your own appeal. You're going to catch your own wave, bro. You're going to catch your own. You know what I'm saying? That's just what that is, bro. I'm going to tell him to stay out of shit like, bro. Nah, it's funny how it goes. But shit, we out here, man. We out here, man. That goddamn dirty glove, you know what the fuck going on, man. It's your boy Kush Pack motherfucking Chris. Yeah. In the building. Nah, yes, man. Sir. It, 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 this one's overdue, because niggas been, we been doing this for a minute. We got one in the South by, but we just, we, it's one of the things where it's like, you know, you're like, all right, man, you really don't have a lot of pictures with your real friends. That's kind of how it is with the interview shit. Like, yeah, niggas nah, really be yeah, kicking yeah, it type yeah, shit. For real, for real, for real, for real. Man, like, Nigga, that shit, yeah, been overdue, man, man. Me and Sperry, goddamn, y'all already know, this. that's the goddamn family, bro. We, we tight like, we tight like, I don't know, you name it, nigga. I don't know, nah, I don't got nothing to sleep. Nah, we say. tight. I'm going to jump into yeah, it because that's, 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 that's my brother. We at DGB, obviously. Yeah. That's like Detroit and Michigan, like yeah. you know, connections and shit. You connected me with with Band Gang Lonnie, yeah, with the for feature. Sure, for sure, for sure. How that how that happened? Ben, you know, I'm just my nigga Zip. You know what I'm saying? One of the co-founders of uh, Dirty Glove, man. Me and me and that nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? He he, an OG. You know, he put me in position. He he hit me. He said, hey man, Band Gang in, in town, man. You want to do a feature? You want to lock it in? Yeah. And we got that shit done, nigga. That's what it is. Nah, it was legendary, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that wasn't the very first time I realized, like, damn, this nigga Kushback's a real nigga. But it's like, one thing about you, bro, you seem very business savvy, bro. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I always feel like I gotta move like a boss, move like ho, you feel me? Yeah. Even though I be in the streets and shit, I always try to be, you know, a little bit more conscious about what I'm doing and how I'm moving. Nah, come on, me, you good, man. My bad, bro. Yeah, but yeah, we out here, man. Dirty gloves, man. We vibing, man. Nah, for real, man. So, okay. Kush back, Chris. I watched the real life, so I ain't even gonna yeah. try to get too much into, like, the shit that they cover, which was a classic. Check out <coughs> check out bro's real life. Shout out real life, Jeff. Shout out real life, Joker, man. Shout out real life, Chris, man. Them, them niggas the real deal, too. I'm sure. Kush back, Chris. <coughs> I know you from Connecticut originally, but we stay in Dallas now. What part of Dallas we in, man? Man, I'm in the north, man. Go Pimp. Open Texas. Whoa. Yeah, no. I'm gonna say it on, I'm gonna say it on camera, bro. I, there's a lot of you know, there's a lot of you know North Dallas rappers that be reaching out to me or I, that people tell me I should fuck with. But they be hard to find, man. But I'm able to tap in with you, man. Yeah, cause I'm really out here, bro. I'm really like, bro. When niggas see when I drop, bro, I drop on every platform, bro. I drop on every blog, I drop on whatever, bro. Look, and it ain't about no clout. It's just about how hard I work, bro. Cause I really work hard, bro. I'm really doing this shit, fam. Yeah. No label, no nothing behind me, nigga. This shit really all me. It's just really all me, nigga. Everything y'all see is all me. Authentic. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Awesome Dallas shit. Cause every time I'm out in Dallas with you, I be feeling like, or even with my nigga Ducky and shit, I be feeling like, damn, that was so much different. Yeah. What would you say is like the differences, like, cause you know, we're in Arlington right now, you know what right. I'm saying? You be coming out to, to Fort Worth and fucking with us. Yeah. But like, yeah. like describe North Dallas or just Dallas in general for like people that's outside in watching this shit. Man, North Dallas is a bunch of hustlers, man. Yeah. The whole North hustling, man, serving something. Everywhere, nigga, anything, nigga. You can get it all, nigga, from the boy to the girl to the <laughs> To the cream, to the blue dream, goddamn it, you can get it all out there, man. Oh God. To the big OG, to the exotics, man. Yeah, that, that's what enough about. Enough about a whole bunch of hustling. No, for real though. And one thing I know about you, you know, what I'm saying you been doing this rap shit. And niggas slide. Yeah. And niggas, especially in whole pimp. Niggas damn near undefeated. So, you know so North Dallas isn't just like the Galleria and shit, like. Nah, nah, the Galleria, that, that's that's not where we at. No. See, whole pimp, whole pimp is all, uh, it's all goddamn six thirty-five and seventy-five. You feel me? Off yeah. Forest Lane, right off the lane. That's Hamilton Park, and that shit is a whole different. That's the island. You feel me? One way in, one way out. Yeah. It's the island. That's just what that is. You feel me? Nah, for real. Um, with. 
like, you know, even like being in Dallas, as big of a place it is, as big of a place as it is, it's kind of like a s small world, bro. So a lot of people running, people, you know, know each other before niggas take off type shit. You was in the music scene before this shit, right? Like, niggas, was, you say you used to do live shows and be at shit, like, with niggas that blew up type shit, like, back when, like, Deep Ellum days and showcases and shit. What was that like? That shit was then, bro. It was, it was, a. Uh, uh, I was young, bro, and it was, a. Uh, it was before niggas in Texas was really blowing up. Yeah. You feel me? Now it's a bunch of young niggas, like the young niggas really putting on. You know what I'm saying? Really shout out to all the young niggas that's really doing. Young niggas really putting on out here. So like, it's a whole nother wave of like niggas actually getting signed out here and niggas actually, you know what I'm saying? Making the moves out here and being yeah. independent and doing shows and hitting rolling loud, you know what I'm saying? Niggas like that, that shit happening now. But back then, back in them days, that shit wasn't happening. Nah, for real. That shit wasn't even, that shit wasn't even a thought, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Nah, for real. So, niggas got the name Kush Pack, you know what I'm saying? And, like, shit, for me, like, when I first met you, I'm just thinking, okay, that's a cool rap name. Yeah. And then niggas actually get to know niggas. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> niggas, you one of the very few niggas when I tell my niggas about Kush Pack Chris, I be like, I was just telling my homie out, you know what I'm saying, near Fort Worth last weekend. I was like, yo, you fuck with this nigga Kush Pack because this nigga really, he really bout some shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, it's not just... It's not just a rap name. It's like niggas kind of, you know, like you just said, it's a lifestyle. It's a whole lifestyle, man. And, and you know what? <clears throat> it really was a nickname, so you know it came with the territory, and so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. Nah, I fuck with Kush Pack Chris, bro. That, that That's, it, yeah. It, it meets up, and then let alone, you know what I'm saying? It really stemmed from the whole Wiz Khalifa phase, me being, and okay. you know what I'm saying, and then. Me growing with the weed, you know, the whole weed scene, and I'm growing with the marijuana scene, and I'm a young nigga, and I'm smoking, and I'm, my, my weed strands is growing, and I'm listening to Wiz and Currency, and I'm I'm on that whole vibe. And, and nah, Kush that's pack, real. And, you know, nah, because, you know, I'm a Wiz nigga, so like... Niggas, niggas are, you know, they always say I had that Kush Pack, I had that Kush Pack, I got the Kush Pack, got, so then boom, nigga, just, hey, Kush Pack, hey, Kush Pack, hey. Yeah. You know? I'm going to ask you this, Kush Pack, because um, I'm, I'm really just trying to, like, get people up to date on what what you've been doing type shit like i know yeah. we can we can really go back into history but like you started the year off strong right. crazy ass feature so right. you want to tell the niggas a story or like the, the whole background between coming up with that man down song that you got uh ducky <clears throat> on goon bandito d3 and then y'all got a shot by sack right like how did that play come together and then like you know how do you view that song like do you think that was a good like a like a strong, like yeah. a bookmark in what yeah, you're doing? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Man Down, Man Down definitely, it definitely set a, uh, it set a tone, you feel me? It set a tone to let niggas know, and it, and it brought so many different eyes from different sections all to all together, you feel what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it really set a tone, and then with Sack Rice shooting it and whatnot, you know what I'm saying, niggas that didn't even want to see you seen it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was a whole different, you know what I'm saying? And it was really something that niggas ain't used to. So yeah, and, and, and the play happened so organically because everybody fucked with each other like real tough. Like Duck them, duck, them Ducky, that's my nigga. D3 them, that's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Goon, that's my nigga. Bandito, that's my nigga. Like that shit. Like you know what I'm saying? We we all hop in the studio. We might shit. I might get a man down too real soon. You whoa, feel me? Whoa, whoa. Never know. You know what I'm saying? It's That'd really be major. Like that. Yeah. And you know, like I be I be saying it to us like behind the scenes just to get keep my niggas hype and you know and shit, but. I don't think people realize like what we really doing as like a collective of even just you know collaborating shit but it's like we talking about different parts of Dallas different fools in Fort Worth yeah. you know what I'm saying all this shit connecting you know what I'm right. saying like especially in a time like this where everything's kind of like beefed up and all that type of shit you know yeah. what I'm saying I don't think people see the bigger picture and shit like that yeah. see and that, and that shit that shit really matter bro cuz niggas uh Niggas really don't see the full potential that the DFW has, bro. Like, the way Houston go up, bro. The way niggas just... Bro, the DFW has that potential. Like, yeah. We are... Like, we got the most creators, but we a consumer, like... We a consumer, like, area. You feel me? Like... Man, I'll be saying We got dumbass creators, bro. Everything, everything, niggas, niggas steal all our shit. <clears throat> everything. Niggas steal all our shit. But it's like, it's just like, 
Niggas got to get with it, bro. Niggas got to come together. And then niggas got to really work, bro. Niggas got to be willing to put that work ethic in. And niggas got to be willing to find them outlets. And niggas got to really be... Man, this shit don't stop, bro. Nah, for real. In other places, other places, niggas done, niggas done took that journey for them. But you feel me? Like, nigga, we got to take that journey for ourselves. We got to set that goddamn grounding down for everybody else so we all can eat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what that shit about. Nah, it's real, man. You mentioned Houston. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for I sure. was I was to say, man, you know, shout out my nigga Kush back. He slid out. With, we, 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 we busted that, that move to Houston. But it wasn't just no play play. It was all work, bro. It was all work. Uh, shit, talk about the Houston trip. And then, shit, did niggas come back with anything? Like, I don't know, man. Yeah, man. I, I really came back with the... Uh, with a crazy Houston plug, like just the Houston connection. Yeah. And like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Drippy, shout out TSF, you know what I'm saying? It's love, you feel me? And that's what that shit about, that Houston, Dallas, bro, that that whole goddamn Texas shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even from Texas, but I'm a part of the shit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the mix, bro. I've been here, what, goddamn 11 years, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm in the mix, you feel me? So, yeah, this is what this shit is about, bro. Facts. Everybody got to, you know what I'm saying? This shit, man, we supposed to be the goddamn. The way, the way New York and them go up. The yeah. way, man, that's what's supposed to happen out here for show, for shit show. Nah, you know what I'm real. saying? So, yeah, that's what niggas is on, bro. Nah, that, that's what niggas is, that's what's happening. Nah, it, it, shit, niggas think? even vouch for Kushback on the pack. <clears throat> shit, Kushback came out with the pack and niggas, <laughs> that nigga, yo, my nigga Kushback really got the, like, the name lying. for a reason, man. I don't be lying. Oh, God. So, just to touch on, you know, the Connecticut part of things, man. Niggas from Connecticut. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I really, like, I want to touch on that shit, but I really want people to go look at that real-life interview because that's bigger. Yeah. Um, I mean, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm spared. Don't get twisted, but real life yeah. is still nah, a staple, yeah, yeah. and you got your story Jerry off on Springer, there. Not Jerry Springer, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But Connecticut, East Coast, man, like, what? It's a different, it's a whole different speed. It's a whole different speed. Everything is... Everything is go. Everything is aggressive. Everything is fast. So out here, it's, everything's more spaced out. Everything is, a, you know what I'm saying? It's just a whole different. It's a whole different speed. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot. The population. It's a whole motherfucker. It's a whole lot of motherfucking niggas out here, bro. Yeah. It's a whole lot of niggas out here. No bullshit. A whole lot of everybody out here. So, you know what I'm saying? That's what. I was gonna say what um what's something that that Connecticut and the East Coast could take from down here, and what's something that down here could take from the up there. If niggas, if niggas from down here was moving like niggas in the East Coast, it, they would be more. It would be more. Uh, they'll be more connected. Yeah. It'll be a little bit more connected, a little bit more unified. And if niggas from uh, if niggas from out east was uh, was 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 hustling like niggas from down south hustle. Yeah. It'll be a whole different type of. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. To each his own. You know what I'm saying? You gotta hustle in your environment because everything different in different environments so a nigga might not be able to move like you move in Texas out east and a nigga out east might not be able to move like that in Texas because of the environment and the way everything operates you feel what I'm saying nah for so, real that's just what that is where do you uh, where, <clears throat> what's up with the flow man like you know we be we be joking around about it it's like niggas nigga will be calm as fuck and then niggas turn turn up to 10 0 to 100 type shit with like yeah, 0 to 100 nigga real quick Nah, that shit, that shit copyrighted. Yeah. That shit copyrighted, yeah. I better not, I bet not catch one of you motherfuckers. <laughs> I bet not catch one of you motherfuckers stealing my shit, boy. Yeah. Nah, I'm playing, I ain't even look. But nah, that shit, that shit really like, that shit really like, it came out of nowhere, really. I was just in the studio. I did, I did it one time in the song. Mm -hmm. I said, damn, that shit, that's hit right there. Yeah. And then I kept playing with it, kept playing with it, kept playing with it. Nah, that shit mine, you feel me? And that shit... That shit, yeah, that shit hard. Y'all fuck with that shit. I know y'all fuck with that shit. Man, nah, for real, man. Niggas yeah. got bars behind the shit. I know niggas yeah, be thinking and niggas. Yeah, and there's bars behind that shit, too. It ain't just, I don't be talking bullshit. Niggas need to really listen, nigga. I don't be talking bullshit. There's bars behind that shit, for sure. I'm gonna um, sure, sure. hit you with this for my, my, my last question before I hit you with my rappers, bro. Because right. this, this is part one. This We already got the South by Southwest check-in, but I don't count those as like the official. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, that's when we met, you know what I'm saying? Shout out. Well, we met her before then, but. That's when we really tapped in. Hell yeah. I was going to say, you got a project, you know, you're working on called Trap Trophies. You know, niggas mentioned that trophy. type of lifestyle and shit in the songs. Sure. But we're in a day of age where. Like, I was just talking to Sean Cotton in our interview, and we was talking about credibility and shit, and a lot of niggas are saying shit that they're not even doing and shit just because it's like, it sounds good. It sounds like, good. Like, how, how do you feel about that shit? Like, do you... I know you're not knocking nobody for getting how they live, but at the same time, like, 
does it does it hurt like niggas like you who you know might have a little validity to what they talking about? I just think that shit corny. Like yeah. that shit corny, bro. Be yourself, bro. Like nigga, I, I watch anime and shit. You feel me? Like I watch cartoons and shit. Yeah. I don't even be watching nigga. That's just what I do, bro. Like, bro, be yourself, bro. I don't give a fuck about give a fuck about how everybody else is. Don't try to hop on another wave because you think that's going to appeal to... Man, be yourself, bro, that you're going to catch your own appeal, you're going to catch your own wave, bro, you're going to catch your own... You know what I'm saying? That's just what that is, bro. No, that's that's real, bro. For real, bro. for shit show, man. Nah, you hearing that from Kushpack, shit, man. When we gonna get another? When we gonna get the Spirit Springer and Kushpack just a, a solo music video in, man? Niggas, hey, yeah, niggas we need ducking to hit me, one man. Road. We need to go. We need to get like a little like a uh, '69 Impala or something like that, and goddamn shoot a goddamn video in that bitch, riding. You know what I'm talking oh about? God. No, I had to, I, down in that bitch. You feel I me? I had to put niggas on the spot on camera, cause man, shit, we really bust this move out to Houston. Just yeah, man, niggas really <clears> like got it in, and we and were we, putting work together. Type we finna shit. move. We finna we finna move to a lot more. Man, we're finna come to a city near you. Nah, for hey, nah, for a real. City near you. Excuse my uh, language. You know <laughs> Let me hit you with the rappers, man. Cause yeah. we gonna come back. We gonna right. come back. A couple finish the sentences and just random questions, man. Just answer to the best of your ability. If you don't want to answer them, you don't have to. Some rappers just don't want to answer. I don't know why. But all right, to finish to finish the sentence. All right, when there was no food in the fridge or at home growing up, I was eating. There was no food in the fridge at home growing up. I was eating. There's nothing in the fridge, it's empty. Shit, there's nothing at the crib, man. Nothing at all. So I gotta go out and get food? Hey, whatever you could eat. Like, if there, shit, niggas might not have been eating nothing at all. I like, I like noodles. Noodles. Peanut butter jelly. Can I get the peanut butter jelly still? Ain't no jelly. It's over. <laughs> yeah. Is jelly in that bitch? Is nah, it straight? Nah, can I? that's what you was doing. Niggas yeah, we the was PBJ. peanut butter and jelly. We that's old faithful. Noodles. That's old faithful. I was on them, I was on them, uh, goddamn rice and eggs, my nigga. Man. On God. Shit. Yeah, we was on that for sure. Nah, for sure, sure. Facts. All right, um, niggas don't really know. Finish the sentence. Niggas don't really know. Niggas don't really know. I'm finna take over the fucking world. And, and people, when I tell people that, they be like, "Damn, this nigga crazy. This nigga, this nigga really tweaking." No, but I'm really finna take over the goddamn world, and I promise that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I promise that. You know what I'm saying? Before I before I leave, I'm gonna leave a mark. Forever. Show for sure. Say what you want about me, but don't say. Finish the sentence. Say what you want about me, but don't say. Don't say I ain't like that, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> say what you want, but don't say I ain't like that. Cause I'm for sure. It's like that, like run DNC, man. Yeah. Oh God. Alright, um, you can have an endless supply, limitless endorsement, sponsorship of anything. What would it be? A limitless endorsement of anything. Anything. That nigga's a real, real Connecticut nigga. I just noticed that nigga got the Whalers on there. That's the old hockey team. Niggas, I know my sports, so I know what's up, man. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, anything. Endorsement. Forever, yeah. I just get free whatever. Anything. As much as I want of it. Yes. Man, I'm, I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna have to say like, like a Rolex endorsement. That nigga said. You know what I'm saying? Or some, or some, or a Bentley endorsement, or a goddamn Lamborghini endorsement. Goddamn it, something like that. They they gonna have to endorse the kid forever. That nigga's probably look like one of them niggas from uh, Dubai. You know, and Cause look, who's with them? I can sell them bitches. I can, you know what I'm saying? A Rolls Royce, a Rolls Royce. Yeah, that's what it is right there. The Rolls Royce. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Cause I'm I'm gonna flip them hoes. I'm gonna get a new one. I'm a whole family riding in Rolls. You gonna get a Rolls Royce, <laughs> nigga? For sure. That's Yo. what we doing, nigga. Endorse this, yeah. Rolls Royce, Kush Pat Chris. The good thing, you know what I'm saying? the good thing about timeless music, you never forget where you were the first time you heard it. Right. What's something that always takes you back to that time? Uh, goddamn, uh, the Drought Three upgrades you. I'm a monster. Every day is Halloween. Yeah. Yo. For sure. That's one of the, Wayne's greatest freestyles. For sure. For sure. He said it. Now that was one and of I the keep ones. My pockets green like a pot of peas. <sighs> If you hating, baby, you can get inside of these. Man. These nuts in your mouth and keys follow, please. Man, he did that. Yeah, one. that nigga Wayne was that nigga. Yeah, the drought three. Man, the whole drought three. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Nah, yeah, for that real. Was, that, that whole shit is nostalgic. 
Nah, niggas need sure. to go back and do their homework if they wasn't there. Yeah, you need to be there for a minute. You need to go. You need to go tap in with that. That shit's his time machine. Um, man, I think it's about time, bro. Um, if there was any song you could be on, you know, the original version of what the song original would it be? Original version. See, yeah. I was around. I heard. I heard a couple niggas. You feel me? So I was around and I already kind of got the little gist of this shit. So. You feel me? I heard I heard my nigga Drippy. My nigga Drippy has some good ones, you feel me? Yeah. So uh if it was any song that I could be on. Any song. How many I get? Man, you really get one. They I let them cheat down in Houston, man. You let them cheat. They yeah. gave them three. I only get one song. Yeah, hey, I mean if you could if you could do it one to the best of your ability, if you gotta name a couple, do your thing. Alright, I'm I'm gonna name I'm gonna name some, but they're gonna be in different genres. Yeah. I would get on uh I would for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure get on, uh... Ooh! It's the, this is Barry Springer special. No, right now, bro. Okay, hip-hop, I would get on, uh, Lollipop by Lil Wayne. Wow. I would get on Lollipop by Lil Wayne. For wow. sure, for sure. Because that, that, that was the shit that set the most records. It, it set the precedent high. On music, it changed the whole game, and it changed. You know what I'm saying? That whole album when the, when, the, when the Carter Three dropped, that shit was. You know what I'm saying? It was epic. It was, the, the world it, stopped. The world stopped. You feel me? It was monumental in my time. Man. I would get on. Um, damn. Damn. I mean. I would get on. I would get on. Uh, I would get on. Hey, now you're a rock star. Good song. Good ninety song. Great the 90s 90 song. song in every movie that I ever grew up watching. On me. <clears throat> and All the best movies had that. I be in that bitch. Hey, now, I'm a block star. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas might need to do that. Get your that. weight on. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Oh, God. That might yeah. need to be the remix, man. Niggas might, might need to think about that. that. Might need to be the remix, you know oh, God. Uh, you got another one? Man, was, I got a... I got a that, yeah, we gonna leave it at that. That was a good, that was a good couple because nobody ever nobody said I, I, for sure. I know nobody ever said, "Hey, now nah, you rock." So that was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, man. I'm gonna hit you with the final two finished sentences. Kush Pack Chris showed the world. Kush Pack showed the world. Man, really, Kush Pack showed the world. Man, fuck the world, man. Fuck what everybody think, man. Be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Speak your truth. Nah, that's real. That's what that's what Kush Pack showed the world. You know what I'm saying? And, and final one, man. Kush Pack Chris is. Kush Pack Chris was. Finish the sentence however you want to. Kush Pack Chris is. The future. Yes, sir. Kush Pack Chris was. No, I'm sorry. Kush Pack Chris is forever, and Kush Pack Chris was the future. Man. You understand what I'm saying? Man, nah, it's real out here, man. First song they should search up by Kush Pack Chris after they watch this. Trap trophies. Trap trophies. Go on, look up that trap trophies and look up that Detroit to Dallas. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Dallas to Detroit. Oh, me. That shit, me and Bang Gang Lonnie spaz on that bitch. And you might as well go look at Kicked Out too, because that shit was stupid. And, man. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. Nah, it's real, man. I'm in this bitch with motherfucking Sperry Springer, not Jerry Springer. Kush Pack Chris checking out. You already know what the fuck it is. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that shit at Kush Pack, C-R-I-S, Kush Pack, C-R-I-S. It's real easy, real simple. Follow me, DM me, whatever, whatever. I'm going to fuck with you, man. Y'all fuck with me. You already know what it is. Brat. Man, Kush Pack Chris, we signing out, man. Yeah.